simple turnaround is going to be C, C sharp, D. That's the blue note. The one in the middle between the 4 and the 5, the sharp 4, flat 5, whatever you want to call it. All right, then you start over. That's the blues with the one, four, five, C, or G, C, D. So that again is the uh, basic blues, one, four, five, when you're using the bar position. And you can start that anywhere you want. So if you wanted to start it, say, at A instead of G, which is here on the second fret, it would just go like that, go like this. And then to the D. Back to the A. all the way up here to the E. Come back to the A. And then you start over. And so you can do that anyway. That's just when you're using the bar position. So now let's do it just using the root position. And we'll do it in the key of G again. This time your G is going to be here and your uh, four position is going to be five frets higher than that, so one, two, three, four. So there's going to be five. So one, two, three, four, five. Right? So there we go. There's our C, and then there's going to be our D. So it'll sound kind of like this. Now, you're like, hey, where'd that 6 come from? Well, your 6, you will notice that this is the root position, is 1, 3, 5. So your 6 is going to be a half or a whole step higher than your 5 right there, your 6. So you're going to play that with your pinky like that. You notice it has a completely different sound than this. Yet those are both G's with G6's. So again, it gives you some variety. But this is all root position, okay? Now, then we can also do this in the uh, zigzag position, okay? And then we can also, as we were saying, we can also do this with the uh, zigzag position where the root note, the one, is on the highest string. So let's start that down here on, say, mm, how about D? We'll play it in the key of D, because that's fairly close up here, because we notice we're going from the, a low pitch to a higher pitched 4 to a still higher pitched 5. So we'll, we can mix that up, but for now we're going to stick with doing it that way. So we're going to go D, and then we're going to go 5 frets, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, to there, which is G, and then our 5 is going to be an A. So let's see how that goes. Oh, and where's our 6? Well, our 5 is right there on the middle string, so our 6 is going to be here under our pinky right beneath the three. So here we go. To the G. Back to the D. To the A. To the G. To the D. start again. So in all of these we've done it using the same chord shape through the whole thing, which as you can see has always required a lot of movement. We've got to go a whole four fret, five frets to go from the one to the four, and then another seven frets to go from the one to the five. Well our system, and when you play with your uh, kind of common uh, power chord uh, tuning that people use on cigar boxes a lot, that's where you're stuck. You're stuck basically your one's here, your four is going to be way up here, your five's going to be up here, and then you got to go back. But we don't have to do that. 
we can these really if you mix up the different shapes you can have these played incredibly conveniently and easy and you mix up your voice okay so now that we've seen all of the uh, positions played blues in all the positions thing is you, if you mix up your voices you can do this really simply and without moving around a lot so for example if we play go off of the open G well the C is right here in the zigzag position and then the D right here so you hardly move and let's play the blues in G using mixed up mixed positions using the bar and the zigzag same thing let's use your G C D only now let's do the same thing with the root position G the bar C and the bar D so that would sound like this that all up. I could do this. I could do everything in the with the open G and then I could do my turnaround like that. So I could do something this really fast. We'll go fast. some easy ways to uh, mix up your voices to make playing the blues more convenient perhaps than it was uh, when you're moving all over the neck to do it. Uh, what we're going to do now is going to talk about inversions. Basically all the ones we've done so far, the one note, the root of your 1, 4, 5 has been of a lower pitch than the 4 and the 5. But you can reverse that and it's very commonly done. So you're going to want to understand that. So let's say that we're going to play this bar B right here and have that be our 1. Well, our 4 is going to be an E, which exists 5 uh, frets higher than that. But there's also one right here, which is of a lower root, right? There's an E right there. And so our 5 is going to be a G flat or F sharp, whatever you want to call it. And so the 1, 4, 5 in the key of B is B, E, G flat. However, you don't have to play it from 1 being the lowest and E and G flat being higher. You can go start with B as the higher of the three and then go down to the E, back to the B, and then go to the 5, G flat, E, and end on the B. Let me show you how that's done. That's how the song that I played at the beginning was done. It was inverted in that the uh, one note was actually of a higher pitch than the four and the five. So, so we'll just do a basic blues progression uh, like that. So it would sound something like this. going from that B to the E, B to the G sharp, B, or E, B, your turnaround does not have to be with the lower one. You could have actually gone higher there. You could have found an E here, maybe, who knows, way up here, and done that. Or you could have used this E. 
instead. Whatever, it's up to you. But uh, from there, I'm going to show you one more inverted uh, progression, and then I'm going to break down the song, and then that'll that I played at the beginning, and then that'll be that. That'll give, and then so that's going to be in G. And when we did this position here with the root bar C bar D, well, it just so happens there's a G right here, which is of a higher pitch because the root is on the high string. So we could easily do this. We could go. down to the C. Up to the G. And then the five is right there. That was pretty convenient. Okay, in the grand tradition of turning old blues songs into rock songs, Robert Johnson had Terraplane Blues. I made it into Terraplane Rock, and this is how I did it. You start on the B, and you're just going to uh, jump that six in there to make it sound good. Right, it's so good, can't you hear the engine bone? And then hammer on the B. Then go to the E. Right, it's so good, can't you hear the engine? And then end the line back on the one. Mo. Go to the five. I've been riding that terraplane since I've been home. So that was four to the five, or five to the four, back to the one, and the line on the one. Riding that terraplane since I've been home. And then you do the same thing again. And then for the final, at the at the very end of that. You're going to play the last verse, so you flip my switch and your horn is cut to blow. Yeah, flip my switch and your horn is cut to blow. Where we're making a connection somewhere down below. That's fast. And then you're going to just go in the two lines over the one, a line over the four, a line over the one, five, four, one, and you're done. So it's going to be rock, rock, tear a plane, rock, yeah, rock. So end on that little B, that's your root B, and instead of the six, you go up half a step, seven chord. Blues ending. That's it. Blues for you. Thanks for watching. Next time we'll get into leads and so on.